Hi everybody and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. I'm filming today at the Arden Course where I'm based and this video is all about understanding your ball flight characteristics. So today's video is really inspired by one of my viewers and they asked some questions regarding how they could stop pulling the ball and then further down the conversation line it, 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 we discovered that there was some curve on the golf ball too. So we need to understand your golf ball flight and characteristics in order to know what to try and fix especially if you're searching on YouTube for answers. If you can really understand what you're trying to change, that means you'll get the best answers straight away. So what I've set up here today is an alignment rod on my ball to target line. So I'm gonna go at the oak tree in the distance. I'm gonna hit a shot now, and we're gonna discuss my ball flight whilst I'm doing it. So what I'm particularly interested in is, is the start direction of the shot and the curve in the shot. Now, the only thing that will nullify this information will be contact. So if the contact is particularly poor, toe or heel mostly, then that's gonna affect the ball flight also. So what I'm looking for is, did the ball start right to the stick, left to the stick, or over the stick, or on the stick, indeed, if you've got a low ball flight? Did the ball curve from right to left, or left to right? So we're looking for start, direction, and curvature. The other characteristics you may consider would be distance and trajectory. From the ball flight, we should be able to tell what our impact factors are. I'm going to talk to you roughly about that based on my ball flight now. And then we can then start to look at what we do to change it. Okay? So, let's have a go at a shot. Aiming at the oak tree in the distance, as we said. We're going to hit one away and see what the ball flight is and where it starts. Okay. Kind of a typical ball flight for me went a little bit too far left. Again, if I'm looking at it, I'm, a, I'm uneducated, I might say that was like a pull or a pull hook. The ball flight started just right to the stick and drew or moved right to left to be accurate and finished left of my target. So that would be classed as a hook shot in terms of how I turn that in golf. So if it's a hook shot and has that curvature, I would look to change the curvature element first. That means I'd have more consistency in my ball flight rather than having various different amounts of curvature. So in order for the ball to be curving right to left, the club face would have to be in a, what we call a closed position at contact. And that creates that offset or non-square impact and creates that curvature. My swing path might well be from the inside too much also, but if I can change the club face first, it'll be, I'll be able to assess the path very, very quickly. Obviously I can look at things like divots, but the divot will depend where it's interacted with the ground, if it's after the ball like it should be, or before the ball. So that will give us a different kind of, a different kind of visual on what, what it actually is. So it can be misleading at times. So the first thing to fix there for me would be the, the, the curvature. So the club face is closed, that's a certainty. So what I'd be looking to do is make some practice swings and the concept I would use would be trying to get the heel of the club here to try and beat the toe as I go through rather than the toe overtaking the heel and that would reduce the amount of curvature I would hope straight away. I can also look at other things like my grip, my club face as I go back and all this kinds of stuff but in terms of a player interacting with a ball and ball flight I want to do something that's going to affect that impact pretty quickly so trying to feel I hold the club off or let the club face open through impact is going to change that ball flight instantly. Let's just try one doing that. I'm going to try and feel the heel beats toe. Let's try a shot. Okay, so a different result. That one was a straight push right. So the club face was definitely square, it was square to my path. The path in that one was definitely from the inside at contact. Even though my plane might be different in different parts of the golf swing, the plane was definitely from the path was definitely from the inside and the face was open. So that would be a push shot. So I've made a change straight away in my ball flight. I'm quite good at doing that because I teach. So we demonstrate a lot of different ball flights to players quite often. Doesn't mean when I try and hit a straight shot, it goes straight every time, unfortunately. But we're quite good at demonstrating funky shots and different shots. It's part of our skill set uh, from years of practicing doing it. So that gives me an understanding of what's going on through impact, you know, with kind of ease. So hopefully that will help you. So in an ideal world, analyze your ball flight simply without using trap man or without using launch data. Know what you need to change. So for me, I'd be looking for searches on how to stop the club face closing on impact. 
how to stop the cloughies closing down, how to stop the ball moving right to left. That would be the searches I would do from what I've discovered. Then I would look at the cures or the drills or the feels of the concepts and then try those out. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like down below. That helps my channel grow. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got regular content coming every single week on a variety of subjects. And please post any comments or questions down below and I'll get back to you with a video as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.